Hello everyone, today we're diving into a really fun way to learn programming using Python's Turtle Library. Now, you might be wondering, what is the Turtle Library? Well, it's a fantastic tool that allows you to draw shapes and patterns by giving commands to a virtual turtle that moves around the screen. This turtle follows your instructions, making it an interactive and visual way to see your code come to life. So why is the Turtle Library a great way to learn programming? Well, it's simple. By using straightforward commands like move forward, turn left or change colour, you can create anything from basic shapes to intricate designs. It's a powerful way to make learning coding both visual and interactive. Think of it as drawing with code. Now, before we get started, you'll need to set up your environment. Normally, you would have to install Python on your computer, but to save you time, CSUK has a ready-to-go dedicated Python Turtle IDE, and you can access it right here. Let's dive into writing your first turtle program. The first thing we'll do is make your turtle move forward. Here's a simple snippet of code to get started. Now in this code, we're first importing the turtle module. Then we create a turtle object named T. Finally, we use the t.forward100 command to move the turtle forward by 100 units. Simple, right? Okay, let's see it in action. So here we have the IDE. And when we run, we can see that a line is drawn of 100 units in length. If we change that to 50 units, the line is drawn half of that length. And if we change it to 200 units, it's twice as long. OK, now that we've seen how to move the turtle forward, let's explore some other basic commands to control its movement around the screen. Using these commands, you can navigate your turtle in any direction. This is the foundation for drawing shapes and patterns. Let's take a look. So when we run this code, each of those commands are carried out one after the other. And if we add another command, that will be executed at the end and you can see the result. All right, now that we know how to move our turtle around, let's put it all together and draw a square. We'll use the commands we've just learned. In this code, we're repeating the same commands, move the turtle forward by 100 units, then turn it right by 90 degrees four times. Let's take a look. So here, when we run the code, you can see that the turtle's been asked to go forward 100 units, right 90 degrees, and that's been repeated three more times. So hopefully you now know how to set up a turtle, make it move around the screen using the commands like forward, backward, right and left, and even draw a basic shape like a square. The turtle library is a fantastic way to make programming visual and fun. Keep experimenting with different commands and shapes, and soon you'll be creating your own intricate designs. Thank you for joining me today. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video.